All right, so it is Friday morning. Just heading down to my unit um, for my ram hunt. I've got the side-by-side -side loaded up in the back. My truck full of, full of stuff. Ryan's meeting me down there uh, for first light. We're gonna be setting up camp, getting a spot for Colin, who's coming down on Saturday with his trailer. And uh, yeah, this is essentially the start of my once in a lifetime bighorn sheep tag. So wish us luck. Hey Ryan, what did we just find? Like two minutes into our drive. <laughs> a really good ram. A very good ram. <laughs> Let me show you. Right there. We're pretty sure he's like three quarters curl at least. I'm gonna get some phone scope footage of him. But he's chasing that hot you with a ear tag in it. Got a collar? Got it. Old broom, that's what we'll call him. Why not? Broken. All right, so in the morning, saw two shooter rams. Um, met up with three other hunters, saw three other hunting groups, talked to them a bit. Went into town, got lunch, and now we're out. Gonna shoot my rifle. Um, Ryan's heading home tonight. He's gonna be coming back tomorrow morning. Colin's coming tonight, and then they're both gonna be here for tomorrow morning's opener, so. All right, so we are currently waiting for Ryan. Classic Ryan shows up 40 minutes late. It's opening day. Um, I'm filming. Thank you. Um, I'm here with Colin. Uh, we've got two rams on, on our mind. Just below our campsite, there's a full curl ram that three other trucks are waiting for sunrise to shoot at. So... It's a pretty good ram. I've got pictures of it. I'll, I'll insert it here. But um, we're going to head up up above our campsite to go after a collared ram that's got broomed broom sides. Carries its mass through the through the whole horn. Um, that's going to be our first choice. And then we saw another ram down below outside of the canyon. That will be our second choice if we can't turn them up. So opening day, we'll probably hear a few shots. You don't want to say anything? No. For for the posterity, you know, remember this? Because no. I'm going to watch this a bunch of times. <laughs> no. I'm making a video. I, I saw that. Yeah. I thought you were going to say something worse. Muddy with what? Yeah, exactly. It's opening day. We're hiking up to the classic knob. all this and me and Colin are going up to the top it's about half an hour after shooting light and we aren't seeing anything we've heard a few shots go off deer hunters down the ridge from us so I think they got their deer but um, we think we're too high so my first choice ram is, it's not up here. We're not sure where it is, but we're gonna head down the canyon and, and try and make a move before the sun hits this, the west side. Slope. Now we're just hiking down, trying to intercept Ryan because he was gonna hike up here and meet us up at, at the top, but there's nothing up here, so. And, and there's Ryan, poor guy. I had to hike up here. We gained about 800 feet elevation and about a quarter mile, so it's pretty steep, but it's a lot of stuff. It's actually really pretty country up here. We 
What'd you say, Ryan? Did they shoot it? hike we still have to gain about a thousand feet more elevation so it's gonna be fun who wanted a easy hunt anyways I mean, people shooting their rams from the road nah i want to sweat for it don't tell ryan that though he's dying literally <laughs> Alright, quick update. We come over a ridge, spotted the big ram, and he was bigger than we thought. But they spotted us too at 550 yards. So they booked it in the right. So me and Colin are trying to get up there, cut them off before they go too far right. Now we're gonna be scaling this little freaking cliff right here. <sighs> Things are getting western. Hi, right, Colin. Update. How we feeling? <laughs> Crappy. Like shit. But we are like at the tallest peak. It's like no one's been up here. But we never relocated the ram. Now we're just going to hike down another ridge to see if we can see anything else. That way. Update. We're pooped. On our way down, after getting busted by the first big ram, we spotted another one. And then that one got kicked up out of his bed from with a bigger one. And we started stalking that guy and then he got spooked. And now we're climbing down a very steep rock draw. We're almost to the bottom. But uh, it's interesting because all the rams that we've been seeing throughout the whole week couldn't they couldn't care less about us but the guys up here they got spooked easy so i guess that's why they're big anyways colin's just resting on our way down opening day is probably over but saw a bunch of good rams so still have 19 more days to go all right morning three we're a little sunburned as you can tell colin's up in the middle of the night throwing up <laughs> so we we probably pushed it too hard yesterday but um we're feeling a little bit better we're just taking it easy going nice and slow um we're just gonna head up to the spot we went yesterday morning where they shot a ram the first light and we know there's a couple of good rams over there so we're gonna go up there and just take it easy in the morning maybe go hiking who knows but we're both pretty tired we're gonna go day hiking. two of the hunt we're gonna go hiking we're gonna go hiking colin's confident we're gonna go hiking all right let's do it Update. Had a ram at 450, the first shot. 
and then 500 for the second shot. Looks like I missed both times, so that's comforting. Um, we're gonna hike up. We saw another ram crossing over the ridge up there, so we're gonna hike up towards them and see if we can relocate a few more rams. So good news is, is the rams are up and moving, and there's a lot of them. Bad news is, is Braden doesn't know how to shoot. We're gonna go find one though. <laughs> I like your positivity. So we just bought two more rams and four ewes. We're gonna work our way up the ridge, see if there's any more around. One ram is okay, he's pretty good. A little, a little skinny, not, not, not anything to write home about. So I don't think I'm gonna take him, but we'll see. We're gonna hike up to this ridge to see where, if we can see any more up and over. The two rams that are up there, they've got four ewes with them. So normally there's a bigger guy kind of hanging around waiting to boss them around, so. We're gonna go look for them. There's a collar gram up here. That's really good, so that's what I'm looking for. We were coming around this bend, and I turned my left, and I see two ewes staring at us. So me and Colin drop down on the ground, and we keep looking, and the ewes keep crossing the ridge, trying to get a better look at us. And then out comes a ram with the ewes. It's got a collar on and uh, they start coming down the ridge and they keep like going left and right, trying to figure out what we are. And I had him at hundred yards, so I shot him right here. I mean, it's, he's too close for us to know if we, if with the slap, but um, I'd be surprised if I missed because it's a hundred yards and, and my reticle is just full of, of him, so. We'll see, we're gonna, we marked the spot where he was. We're gonna give it like 20, 10, 15 minutes, and then we're gonna go up and check for blood, so hopefully he rammed down. Saddest update ever. I missed the second one too. So we're gonna head home. I wanna go and figure out whether the missed shot was me or the gun or both. And then probably come back up on Tuesday. So I'll probably take the day off tomorrow and just try and sight in my rifle, figure out what's going on, and then come back up. Tuesday morning, I took yesterday off to go sight in my rifle and uh, print out a dope chart and kind of get confident again. Looks like my rifle was off um, a little bit. So I'm heading out after getting everything taken care of to shoot around this morning. That would be awesome because I'm, I'm all solo. I've got no one else coming till maybe tomorrow. Tyler might come down, maybe. But uh, most people said that they'll be able to come down for the weekend. So. Uh, here we go, round number two. It's Tuesday morning, and I just talked to a guy. He said he helped uh, kill a ram on the face that I'm glassing out yesterday. Pretty good ram. Haven't seen anything close. I've seen a few rams up way, way high. Just smaller ones. Nothing that I can get to even. Um, so I'm just sitting here glassing. Seen a few good bucks. Uh, nothing's moving a ton, so I'm just going to keep picking apart this um his face according to that guy he was saying that they are moving all day and i've kind of seen that i didn't even think to glass this face but he said glass in this face breaking it apart see a lot of more movement during like midday so that's my plan i'm just gonna sit here keep glassing this big old basin pretty much all day hoping to catch something moving Just sat down to glass and spotted a good ram way up there. So, and I'm probably gonna make a play on him. He just got up out of his bed. So I hope he lays back down, but uh, yeah, he's a good ram. I'll show you the footage now.
I'm going there, and the ram is over there. The ram and the ewe was bedded, but now they're up and feeding left. I'm gonna make my way up there to try and cut the distance. Hopefully get a shot at 300, 350 yards before they move up the canyon too much. So I go as quick as I can, but slowly, methodically, try and keep my wind right. Get close enough to make a shot. It's gonna be a hike. And then if I do shoot it, it's gonna be a crazy thing to back out. So it's gonna be fun. setting up my camera to get the phone scope footage and then I abandoned that because the ramp started moving so quick and so then I set up my phone right here and then realized I need the, needed the dope chart to dial in my turret so I ended up not filming any of it unfortunately but it's all good because the ram is down I lost sight of it I shot it I, I shot it once and I think I hit it a little far back it started getting back up again so I shot it again and then it fell down a few times and I don't know where it went, it disappeared. So I'm gonna go over there and try and find it, put hands on it. I'm uh, not too worried. Just texted all my brothers. So they'll probably be on their way to go help pack it out. It'd be fun to share this moment with them. So it all looks very different from here, but my ram should be somewhere in here, dead. This is gorgeous. So I went down to look for the body and I found a blood trail. I followed it for about 150 yards and uh, blood stopped. So I'm gonna see if the uh, DNR can come track the collar, or maybe some blood bloodhounds can come follow blood, but it's in some pretty nasty rocks. So I don't know if the dogs would be able to find the trail, or if the DNR would be able to track the collar, but probably the saddest I've ever been. Alright, so it is now Friday, last time I went hunting was on Tuesday and then I spent all day Wednesday with Tyler looking for my ram, um, never found it unfortunately, called the DNR, told them about the, the tracking collar and they actually looked and uh, they said that all of the rams in that area are all doing well, they're all moving around, they're alive and well. So based on everything we can figure out, that ram is still alive out there. Now we can't be 100% sure because they did say that, um, you know, if it was a ram that was put on the unit, you know, seven years ago, those, those collars die after like two or three years. And so it possibly could still be out there, you know, a ram with a dead collar. Um, but based on what they were telling me is that all the rams in that area with collars are still alive and kicking so that's great news um me and bryce are heading down there today friday and then we're gonna be hunting there all day today and then isaac mcfarland's coming down tonight and so we'll have a couple of people to help me class up all the little finger ridges and draws um tomorrow but hopefully we get it done today so <sighs> heading back out again to try and uh fill my ram tag so here we go
Reload. So I'm out here, ram hunting. Familiar story with Bryce, who's my spotter. Just stalked in on a ram, missed 400 yards. So we're gonna do a hard reset. We're gonna go check out a different ram that we were seeing earlier today and uh, try and put one down. I'm gonna try and let this one not get into my head. I'm just gonna let it just <laughs> water off the back. Right, Bryce? Right. Braden's not the worst shot in the world. He's just in his head. Yeah. Hard in the wind. Mm hmm. So here we go. So, update. <laughs> Isaac came down this morning. Bryce hunted with me yesterday. Sure, Todd up. came down with uh, with Isaac. They brought their side by side and, and Isaac brought his gun with some sweet loads and the suppressor. First thing in the morning, we uh, saw these rams down there. A ram and three ewes, so we, we thought there's probably some more sheep nearby. So we hiked up on this knob. Bryce saw a ram crossing this little rock shelf right here and it crossed, crossed, crossed until it got to there and uh, shot him at 550 yards. One shot, dropped him. And this is after shooting at two different rams and missing and hitting one and never finding it. So my confidence was waning quite a bit with my shooting abilities and just hunting. So this feels really, really good. He's just sitting there piled up. He hasn't moved since I shot him. So we're gonna go over there and uh, put hands on him. Yeah, I think we're doing good. We're just hiking up. We're getting pretty close, I think. This is just the prettiest place ever. It is just gorgeous. And it makes me so happy that people are here with me. That's the best part. Hunting alone sucks. Don't do it. We got eyes. It's right there. There he is. tough hunt as Bryce can attest to. I mean, just so many ups and downs, so many heartbreaks. I mean, it's just, I can't thank Bryce enough. 
and Isaac and I for coming up here and helping me get this ram. This is this is just this ram is incredible. I can't believe how I mean way better than I was hoping for. So uh, put around the base, put your hand around it. See. I, I can't even. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a good ram. And he's he's barely broomed on both sides. Yeah. Couldn't be happier. Now, now the good oh, hard work. Yeah, there goes the hard work. Isaac and his son Todd ran back. Not too bad. All right, so we've got the ram in the pack. We got Todd, Isaac, Bryce. We uh, have everything caped out, and we're gonna head down to the side by sides, which are way down there. So, here we I'm, go. I'm thinking I'm going this way. I think that's probably yeah, almost all the way down. Got me and McCray going this way, and then Isaac and his son going that way. So. Almost back to the side by sides. It's just a little mile, mile drive back to the back to camp, where we'll kind of clean up the cave, take some more photos probably, and then we're gonna head down to, into into town, go get some burgers. That's the plan. So happy. Huge weight off my chest. This week has just been full of disappointments, missing and then losing one. It was just the perfect way to end this sheep, this, uh, this sheep hunt. Anyways.